Seismologists keep running into something extraordinary. 2,700 kilometers beneath our surface, at the base of the mantle, earthquake waves suddenly change. Sometimes they speed up, sometimes they slow down. This sharp, unpredictable shift is known as the D discontinuity, and for decades, nobody really knew what was causing it. See, the lower mantle is made up of a mineral called perovskite, but near the core mantle boundary, where pressures and temperatures are so extreme, perovskite changes into something new called post-perovskite. I know, original. But this is no ordinary mineral. It's anisotropic, which means that waves pass through it faster in some directions and crawl slower in others. To try and figure out why, scientists recreated the deep earth in a lab. They crushed tiny crystals in diamond anvils, and then they heated them up with lasers, making them as hot as the core mantle boundary. This pushed them to pressures of over 100 gigapascals. The result? Well, when post-perovskite's crystals were random, almost nothing happened, barely any change in velocity. But when crystals lined up, when they formed a texture, the seismic waves shifted dramatically. In some directions, they sped up by 7%. In others, they slowed down. Exactly what seismologists have been seeing in the real Earth. This tells us something huge. The D discontinuity isn't just a mineral phase change. In other words, a change in minerals due to temperature and pressure. It's a record of flow in the deep mantle. Subducting slabs, mantle currents, the slow churn of rock, they all force crystals into alignment. And that alignment shows up on our seismographs. It explains why discontinuity is stronger under subduction zones and weaker or missing under mantle plumes. The big takeaway here is even solid rock 1700 miles down is moving and flowing. And in the process, it's shaping how earthquake waves or seismic waves travel. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, stay curious.